Starts right. He goes left, and there he goes. Ten, five, touchdown, Pirates. Pirates win. You can see these pitches purple. Pirates Sports Properties and ECU Athletics present the Mike Houston Show. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coach Houston will be here in just a couple of minutes. We'll look at the highlights from the UC game. Got a big show planned for you today. Our Pirate player profile will be Holton Naylor's. What a great job he's doing in his sophomore season as the Pirate quarterback. Our legend segment this week will be Pernell Griffin from just up the road, an Eastern North Carolina guy. What a great career he had. It will be a 12 noon Eastern kickoff next week in Dallas against SMU, another nationally ranked AAC team next week. Hang in there with us. Coach Houston will join me right after this. For most bright-eyed 20-year-olds, college is all about finding yourself, discovering your purpose in the world. It's spiritual. But for this astrobiology major, college is about making cheddar. While drinking Diet Coke Blueberry Acai and running the biggest underground sandwich joint in the greater Des Moines area. Make that money, young buck. Make that money. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. With more than 90 online programs, 40 of them unique to ECU, more students than ever before are making East Carolina University their online destination. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. Welcome back to the Mike Houston Show, brought to you in part by Quality Equipment. John Deere offers you quality at every turn. Welcome back to the show. Coach joins us now. And Coach, uh, I know you've been around this for a long time, but probably have never had a tougher loss. 46-43, you'd lose this one. Last second field goal. The guys played their hearts out. Just didn't quite get it done there at the end. Yeah, it's, um, you know, those are ones that just, you know, they break you, they break your heart. And just, uh, you know, the kids, um, I told them, it's just, you know, they've continued to work every week. They, continue, they came in this week. We had a great week of practice. The last three days were as, as good a three days leading up to a ball game as we've had. Um, but it validates their preparation. And, you know that they, they were they were dialed in. They were, were focused. They weren't up tight. 
they were extremely aggressive tonight. We were extremely aggressive tonight. It just, you know, things are just they're just are changing, you know, pretty rapidly here in year one. And it's just, you know, games are hard to win. Uh, and you know, you play a team the caliber of Cincinnati, and you know, you get that opportunity. You just you hate to let it get away. But uh, you know, certainly, you know, Cincinnati they they're in the position that they're in because they know how to win games like that. And uh, you know, they made the plays there at the end, and uh, and we didn't. Let's go now to those first half highlights. This week's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide agents. Just over 32,000, a great night for football. Felt like football weather at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, Bagwell Field. And, Coach, we pick up the highlights here. Ehlers throws this pass to C.J. Johnson, who just had an incredible night. Goes for 75 yards. This was really fun to watch. Oh, there's no doubt. And you're right, we've all been waiting for that play. Coaches, fans, everybody. C.J.'s been waiting for that play. But, um, you know, great pass right there. Uh, great execution by C.J. And then, uh, you know, great job getting in the end zone. You know, it's and, and not getting caught. So uh, certainly a big play gets us right back in the ball game. Blake Prohl had a big game too, Coach. He made some great catches for you. Back-to-back -back catches here on a second and 10, and then a first down and 10. One went for 17. The second one went for 11. Thought Blake really played well. He did, and, uh, you know, his performance is overshadowed a little bit by CJ's. But I thought Blake, you know, probably had his best game of the year uh, tonight just because of, of – you know, just the ability to make all the contested catches. He's improving so much with that, uh, and you can see his confidence grow each week. And then Holton did a great job running the ball in for the touchdown here, Coach, uh, from six yards out. Tied at 14, Cincinnati comes back with the ball, and there's Michael Warren again. He goes for 40 yards on this play. He's one of the best backs in the league, and then he goes in for a touchdown here to make it 21-14 Cincinnati. That's the way the first quarter ended. At 21-14, we pick up action now in the second quarter. Ehlers throws complete here to Zach Bird, the big junior college tight end. He's getting better every week, too. He is, and you see his confidence growing. Uh, and, you know, first, first college touchdown tonight uh, and just, you know, really improving week to week. Pirates are moving the ball right down the field, and then here's Josiah Hatfield again for three yards. Pretty throw and pretty catch. And, Coach, you battle back here and take the lead. Yeah, it's good to uh, you know get another guy. His first first career touchdown for Desai. Ritter throws another pass right to Daniel Charles. And Daniel with his second interception. Don't see a guy make two interceptions too often, coach, in one game. No, but great job of going up and attacking the ball right there. It's something we've been you know really harping with uh, on, on Daniel on you know, you know for for months now. Gave the Pirates the ball back and a chance to get points, which they did. Ehlers throws complete to C.J. Johnson again for 33 yards. Sets up the field goal. Jake Verity gets it to go from 27 yards out, and the Pirates are up 10 points at halftime. and jumbo butterfly shrimp. Make me feel like a real New Yorker. Hey, I'm eating here. <laughs> New York strip and butterfly shrimp. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. Business owners, are you tired of feeling dissatisfied with your current cleaning service or that you're paying too much? Eastern Carolina Vocational Center is here to help. For 14 years, our large staff of well-trained, qualified employees have been cleaning offices, churches, industrial, and municipal buildings. ECVC offers custom-designed cleaning services with a schedule that fits your needs. You and your employees deserve a clean workspace. Let us provide you with excellent cleaning services. Call today to learn more about how we're all working together to support jobs with purpose. You need to take the road less travel, so let the John Deere Gator get you there. Whether there's more work to be done or fun to be had, Quality Equipment is welcoming a new season of deals to help you gear up for fall. Find the perfect Gator that meets your needs at a reasonable price. Get up to $1,000 off the XUV825 or XUV835. Need more options? We've also got the XUV590 with four-wheel independent suspension for up to $700 off. For more information, visit qualityequip.com. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Offer ends September 30th, 2019. We're out here today with Petey, and he is fired up about something. Petey, tell them what all the passion's about. This month at Capital Subaru, you can get the all-new 2020 Outback for just $289 a month with new features that we know you're going to love. Redesigned interior with 11.6-inch touchscreen, driver assist technology, extra cargo, alloy rims, 
and enhanced tie down. Come to Capital Subaru and test drive one today. And for more of Petey, go see him cheer on his fellow Pirates during football season. See you soon. Hmm, Golden Corral's carved New York strip and jumbo butterfly shrimp make me feel like a real New Yorker. Hey, I'm eating here. <laughs> New York strip and butterfly shrimp. Golden Corral, the only one for everyone. For most bright-eyed 20-year-olds, college is all about finding yourself, discovering your purpose in the world. It's spiritual. But for this astrobiology major, college is about making cheddar. While drinking Diet Coke Blueberry Acai and running the biggest underground sandwich joint in the Greater Des Moines area. Make that money, young buck. Make that money. Welcome back to the show, uh, Coach. The guys were really confident, I would think, at halftime. I mean, you're up 10 points yep. on the 17th-ranked team in the country, and they yep. were playing with so much confidence, weren't they? Yeah, and, uh, you know, we, we talked about halftime. Just, you know, dial back in. They get the ball first. It's a one-play-at-a-time attitude, and you just go out there and you, you try, to, try to focus on doing your job and trusting your teammate to do his job and being aggressive and, uh, you know, just it just – you know, all being on the same page and, and uh, you know, the kids just, they fed off each other tonight and just, uh, you know, it's just such a, such a, such a, a great moment just to see our team kind of flip from all the, you know, we've tried and we've tried and we've tried and we've tried and now all of a sudden we're starting to do more things correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was just really good to see that, uh, you know, there in the first half and, you know, getting ready to start the second half. I mean, it was full throttle ahead. Let's roll down those second half highlights. So the Bearcats get the ball now to start the second half, and coach these quarterback draws from Desmond Ritter. He was very effective with these. He was. Uh, we knew we were facing one of the better, one of the better quarterbacks uh, in the league, uh, one of the better ones we've seen this year. Um, frustrating because you know you had uh, a couple times you had a defense call tonight to 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 stop just that, you know, the quarterback draw, and you know, not able to execute it. And uh, you know, we got to get back in here tomorrow and look at the film and uh, you know, figure out what we did wrong there. 21 on one quarterback draw, and the second one goes for 32 yards, and then Warren takes it in from three yards out. How about the way Holton threw the ball tonight? Well, I thought he threw it great tonight. He had good timing, good composure in the pocket. He was able to extend a couple of plays and threw well on the run. Uh, you know, just really a solid game and, uh, you know, put up some huge numbers tonight. He did that. An all-time Pirate record in passing yardage. Josiah Hatfield goes over the left end for 17 yards, and then Jake Field goal. Jake Verity comes in for the field goal. This one goes in from 20 yards out. And the Pirates are still up six, 34 to 28. Holton throws again complete to C.J. Johnson. This one goes for 22 yards. What a night that D.H. Conley connection had. And then Holton throws this one complete to Tyler Sneed. Nine yards uh, in the end zone for the touchdown, Coach. This was a great throw and a great catch. It was. That's a, that's a tough throw and catch in the back corner of the end zone like that uh, from the inside slot receiver. But, uh, you know, they've, I think it's the second time this year we've hit Snead on that particular pass play. So great execution for those two guys. But Cincinnati comes back with a touchdown. Ritter throws complete to Daguerre. It's 40 to 35 as the Bearcats put one on the board. And then here comes the interception here, Coach, on third down and six. This was a tough one. Yeah, tough play. We, we had the had the momentum there driving and, uh, you know, the pick six, that's, 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 that's a tough one to overcome. But, uh, you know, our guys, you know, they're resilient. They came right back out on the next drive and uh, went right back to work. Absolutely. Cincinnati's up 43-40. Pirates come right back. Again, it's Ehlers to C.J. Johnson for 27 yards. And then Holton again on target on a third down and five. Big play hits Josiah Hatfield. 4-10, and then Jake Verity comes in here, coach, and nails one from 27 yards, and we've got a tie ball game. We were trying to, you know, run a little bit more time off the clock and uh, weren't able to do it right there, so we left, uh, left a minute 10, uh, you know, after the field goal by Jake. And then here's Ritter again. He goes on another quarterback keeper. This one goes for 30 yards. That was a big play for him, and then Crosser comes in to attempt the field goal. He does get it from 32 yards. Pirates lose a tough one to Cincinnati. 46 to 43. So it was a heartbreaking loss for the Pirates, but Coach, you made such a good point. The guys didn't hesitate tonight. They played with confidence, and 
you know, they just went ahead and made so many plays. And we've seen earlier this year they've looked a little unsure of themselves. But this game, maybe that's the turning point they believe now in what, what they're doing. Well, you know, they should they should be able to take a lot of confidence in this game in doing that. Uh, now, the thing is, you got to continue to build on it. You can't go backwards. And we talked about that in the locker room. And that's that's been kind of been our deal every week, just not going backwards. Um, and, you know, so we've had a great performance tonight. Um, you know, tomorrow it doesn't matter. You know, you get ready for SMU. So, uh, but, you know, they have to have confidence coming out of this uh, just in seeing seeing themselves and seeing each other mm -hmm. do so many positive things and so many things that we talk about and we coach and we, we work on during practice. You know, this should really motivate uh, our guys of, you know, just how much better we are, we are getting on a daily basis. Yeah, it looked like a different Pirate football team in the game with Cincinnati. When we come back, we'll have more right after this. We'll be right back with more of the Mike Houston Show, brought to you by Vident Health official health system of the ECU Pirates. Are you going out tonight? What? No. But you have your coat on in the castle. Uh, and everyone's all dressed up. Are they? Well, maybe it's laundry night, something like that, probably. And you're drinking Bud Light Platinum. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. Just let's go quickly. Don't wait up. Bud Knight Platinum. Did you ditch him? Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a clue. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Bud Light Platinum. Brewed for the night. Hi, I'm Jeff, the Window Man. We're celebrating our newly renovated showroom over 30 years ago. Our family here at Carolina Wind and Doors set out to help homeowners not only protect their biggest investment, but also to cut energy costs. Tell us more about it, Blake and Brad. Don't think you have to settle for those big, bulky plastic windows that everyone has to order from someone out of state. Our windows are created by hand right here in this design center. From years of experience, Carolina Windows and Doors has combined expertise with superior design. Everyone loves our easy tilting cleaning feature, allowing both sashes to be tilted to the inside. All of our windows have a thermal brake, providing superior energy efficiency. Our entry doors can also make a beautiful statement about your home, but also add the benefit of energy savings and security. Build your custom entryway with choices on just about everything, and top it off with a storm door for even more security and efficiency. Call us now at 1-800-545-7172, or visit us online at cwdnc.com. You may not have noticed, but it's all connected to the internet. Sure, it's YouTube, Netflix, and adorable selfies, but it's also high-octane gaming, security cams, thermostats, your fridge, Wi-Fi speakers, smartwatches, workout equipment, pet feeders, and even crockpots. Seriously, and it's all on the same internet connection. At least with internet from Suddenlink, your home can live up to its fully connected potential. Without it, not so much. Suddenlink, the fastest internet provider in the U.S. People are tired of seeing banks pull out, relocate, or divest instead of investing in the communities that we live. Greg Steele, president of Town Bank, wants only the best for Greenville. Town Bank made a commitment to Greenville, Pitt County, and Eastern North Carolina. While you see other banks de-emphasizing this market, we are making a commitment, contributing money to nonprofits, being involved, volunteering, that all those things are things that people in Greenville want to see. Town Bank presents the play of the week. Town Bank, serving others, enriching lives. Ehlers is in the pocket, looks. Gonna go deep down the sideline. CJ Johnson, now they've got the ball. At the 40, to the 30, down the sideline. Foot race to the end zone, he's in. Touchdown, Pirates. The D.H. Conley connection does it. A 75-yard touchdown throw from Holt Ehlers to CJ Johnson. Welcome back to the show. It's always great to have the hometown hero stay at home and play for the Pirates. And, of course, that's the story with Holt Naylor's a Greenville native from D.H. Conley High School. He's the Pirate quarterback. Our Brian Bailey has known him for a long time. They get a chance to sit down and visit. And now, with today's Pirate profile, here's Brian Bailey. Here with the Pirate quarterback, Holt Naylor's. Holton, take us back to your first day on campus to where you are right now, the evolution of a Pirate quarterback. Yeah, um, I'm way different now, um, you know, as a man, as a football player. But, I mean, you've been through a lot, but you just kind of learn on the fly and just keep getting better. 
What has been the most challenging aspect of playing quarterback at East Carolina? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, you know, I mean, probably just making sure going through the right reads and, you know, defenses. I, I mean, high school defenses and college defenses are way different. So I'm just learning learning college game, I and mean, that's a big deal. Learning college life is a is a big deal as well. But just learn on the fly, like I said, and each day, I mean, you can get better at something. And the American Athletic Conference is so good, especially this year. I mean, there, there are no easy games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got a great conference, but, you know, coming here, I knew that, and that's why I wanted to play here and versus these teams because I knew, I mean, we can be a great team, too, and we can add to that list. So, I mean, I'm excited about the future here, and, I mean, I still believe in us. One of your favorite targets, obviously, the freshman C.J. Johnson. You guys hooked up a number of times at D.H. Conley. And that's just down the street, and now you're hooking up here at East Carolina. Yeah, I mean, he's a great player. You know, I believe in him. You know, that's why I wanted him to come here with me. And, um, you know, we talked about that when we were in high school, you know, what we could do here. and you know, the places we could go from here. So, I mean, we're excited about that. I'm excited about him and all the other young receivers we have. Did CJ ever come back to the huddle and say I was covered? But he's always open, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think any great receiver is going to think he's always open. But, I mean, that's that's what's great about him is he believes he can make any catch on the field any time in, the, in any play. So, I mean, I definitely have confidence in him. He has confidence in himself. All right, finally, Holden, what are some of your goals going forward this season? Yeah, just win as many more games as we can and, you know, play better, um, you know, average more points offensively. That's the Pirate quarterback, Holton Aylers. Second year in the league here. He's Minshew escaping somehow. The sack throws on the run wide open. Jacksonville, it's Chris Conley breaking free, and he is in for the touchdown. An incredible job by Minshew keeping his eyes down the field. Now the Jets drop coverage, and there's no safety back. Check it out. There's a variety of pairs. This could be a song about home insurance. Oh, with Nationwide, you can save up to 20% by bundling your home and auto insurance. Bundling home and auto. Two songs in one. What do you call that? A crossover? No, it's more of a mashup. Yeah, mashup. You see, that's why we're a great band. We're not a band. Yes, we are. We are a band. I am in a band. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. You may ask, who do you bank with? And they'll say, a bank. But if you say, who is your banker? They don't know. Greg Steele, president of Town Bank, talks about what our business community's been missing. They don't have access to bankers, and that's something I think that's missing. And that gets back to caring. Fortunately, we will be here. We're basically available to them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Town Bank talks about caring. It's really just caring about a member in a manner that is more than just banking. Are you going out tonight? What? No. But you have your coat on in the castle. Uh. And everyone's all dressed up. Are they? Well, maybe it's laundry night. Something like that, probably. And you're drinking Bud Light Platinum. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just let's go quickly. Don't wait up. Bud Night Platinum. Did you ditch him? Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a clue. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Bud Light Platinum. Brewed for the night. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. The power play of the game is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. In this league, so let's see if the Pirates can put the hammer on him here in the fourth quarter. First down and 10 from the 45-yard line. Bearcats with the ball, moving right to left. They'll keep it on the ground, and there is Warren, and Warren gets put on his back by Bruce Bibbins. My goodness, 
Ward is 225 pounds, and Bruce put him on his back. Holy cow, you heard a couple of Bruce chants out there. That was a big time hit. He never saw Bivens, and he lit him up. Welcome back to the show. One of the all-time great pirate linebackers is Pernell Griffin. He is a legend for sure, and let's relive some of the great moments with Pernell. Here with Pernell Griffin, the All-American linebacker, was a freshman for East Carolina, won a state championship at Williamson. What was it like to be the star player at a small school, but to come to East Carolina? Oh uh, man, it meant a whole lot. You know, uh, being trained, you know, by Coach Harold Robinson, and then being prepared during the summer before I came in my freshman year. So it meant a whole lot. I had a whole lot of people counting on me, man. So they held me accountable, you know, for going out and performing on the field. So I just had to do what I had to do. What are some of your best memories of being a Pirate? Oh, of course, the uh, University of Miami game. Uh, we were supposed to have been a home game, but due to Hurricane Floyd, you know, we had to play uh, at NC State. Um, and then also uh, playing against uh, Wake Forest. Uh, that game I had uh, 24 tackles, and that broke that uh, the, the tackling record, uh, single game tackling record. So um, I had a whole lot of great memories, but those are kind of the two that stuck out. Um, one last memory was against Byron Leftwich. Uh, sacked him two times during the uh, Mobile Alabama Bowl. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't win, but uh, like I said, we gave a, a hard, hard fault. Still wearing your jersey, and this jersey has a little story to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. It does. Um, uh, I coach uh, nine to ten year olds in Nashville, and uh, we went to a tournament game. And I told him, I said, "Listen, I said we win this game. I was going to just go ahead on and frame my jersey and auction it off." So I wanted the guys to actually see and uh, actually experience someone that has been successful. They were able to sign the jersey. We didn't win, so I still kept my jersey. <laughs> He's a pride of Williamston, North Carolina. He's Pernell Griffin. Yes, sir. On to Dallas this week for the Pirates, down to SMU. Sonny Dykes has done an incredible job with that Mustang football program. Our Brian Medor has a chance to take a look at SMU with our scouting report. No easy task for the Pirates on the road in Big D on Saturday as they take on the nationally ranked SMU Mustangs. This is the best Mustangs team since their dominant yet shady run during the 80s. SMU quarterback Shane Buchel is as efficient as any quarterback in the league, completing 63% of his passes. When the Mustangs aren't carving teams up through the air, senior tailback Xavier Jones is getting it done on the ground. He's second in the league in rushing for a team that is averaging 43 points per contest. On the other side of the ball, the Mustangs like the big play. They are second in the country in sacks and are among the league leaders in turnover margin. The Pirates lead the overall series 4-3. Kickoff is set for high noon. I'm Brian Mudor for the Mike Houston Show. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll have a report from the SMU game next week right here on the show. Pirate fans, you're the best. The Mike Houston Show has been presented by Sudden Link. Now offering internet speeds up to one gig. The Mike Houston Show is an exclusive presentation of the Pirate Sports Network from Learfield IMG College.